In this video, we will discuss the argument and principal argument of a complex number. For this, firstly consider a complex number z is equal to x plus iota y. Here we have drawn this complex number on the complex plane. Let this be its real axis and this be its imaginary axis. Where x is the real part of the complex number and y is the imaginary part of the complex number and r is the modulus of z. From the polar form of complex number, we know that x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. r sin theta divided by r cos theta is equal to y divided by x. This r will be cancelled out by this r and sin theta divided by cos theta is equal to tangent theta. So from here we will get tangent theta equal to y over x. This equation is satisfied for infinite many values of theta. Since we know that theta is a periodic function of period 2 pi, we can write it as tan, tan theta is equal to tan theta plus 2n pi which is equal to tangent theta equal to y over x. So we know that tan theta is equal to tan theta plus 2n pi. Now we will discuss argument of z. Argument of z is represented by arg z or argument of z which is equal to theta plus 2n pi where theta is equal to tangent inverse y by x and n belongs to set of integers which means n is equal to 0, plus minus 1, plus minus 2 and up to so on. When we vary the value of n in this equation, we get infinite many values of argument of z. Now we will discuss the principal argument of complex number. Principal argument is represented by argument of z which is equal to tan inverse y by x. But there is a restriction on principal argument that it must lie between minus pi and pi. Now let consider theta be the principal argument of the complex number z then let's draw a complex plane then if z is in first quadrant and makes an angle alpha with the real axis then the argument of z which means that theta will be equal to alpha if the complex number z is in first quadrant but if the complex number z is in second quadrant and makes an angle alpha with the positive real axis then theta the principal argument will be equal to pi minus alpha and we will find the value of alpha which will be equal to tangent inverse y by x and we will subtract this value from pi and we will get the principal argument theta if the complex number is in third is in second quadrant but if a complex number is in third quadrant 
and it makes an angle alpha with the positive real axis then the principal argument theta will be equal to alpha minus pi and if the complex number is in fourth quadrant making an angle alpha with the real axis then theta will be equal to minus times alpha where we will calculate the th the value of alpha by this formula now consider another case that if the complex number lies on the positive or negative real or imaginary axis for example let consider this be the complex plane and if the let this be its real and this be its imaginary axis and if the complex number lies on this real plane or on this imaginary plane then the value of theta the which is the principal argument will be equal to alpha but if the complex number lies on the negative real axis or the negative imaginary axis then theta will be equal to minus times alpha where we will calculate alpha from this equation